when seven cadets boarded the Earth's most advanced spacecraft in the year of our Lord 2120, they had no idea what was in store for them. Peaceful and advanced, the Earth had also grown complacent. An alien device landed in the Rocky Mountains and promptly erased humanity from history. I am Captain Matt Stone, and today I lead a ragtag group of humans and aliens on a lonely quest to restore the Earth. Someday we will return, but for now our home is called Mars Station. Research Log, Planet Gallows 1 Our team of archaeologists has discovered an ancient vault and we are discussing what to do with it. There is a warning plaque that says we are not under any circumstances to open the ancient vault we are seeing. As leader, I have opened this up to debate. What do we know about this site? This is a pretty impressive vault made of ancient alloys we cannot even identify. The legends say that an ancient evil is contained within and that to open it could result in catastrophe. I do not care about old legends. What is the historical data from those times? The technological level was primitive compared to ours of course. There seems to have been a significant reduction in population about the time the vault was built. Is there any chance that the two are related? Could there really be a threat? Well we don't know what is on the other side of the vault. It could be just evidence of an ancient cult. What have scans revealed? Anything. It is designed apparently to prevent the passing through of energy any energy. Even radiation has a hard time penetrating it. Okay I think we will use cutting torches on it to open it up. Get the equipment ready. It is a new day for us. We have been trapped in that abomination for centuries. Suck out their energies and multiply. Soon the galaxy shall roll in fear before us.
need to get out of here. Take off immediately. Callie, where is the rest of your team? What is wrong? They are dead. They were taken down by some energy thing. Well, they came back to life and started killing. How can they come back to life? I don't understand. I don't understand either. We are in danger. Just go. I want medical to check you out. In the meantime, we will take off and head to orbit. Doctor have you found me sane? Well you are in a highly agitated state. Other than that, I see nothing wrong. Really I am not making anything up. Believe me. We do take you seriously. I am going to have you interviewed and we will need as much information as we can get. We were doing a dig. When our leader opened up a vault, some things came out of it and he and the other looked like they were being drained. Then what happened? What did you see? They looked like energy beings. I think they drained my companions and they collapsed. Then they got up and started attacking others. Can you tell me why they attacked others? They acted more vicious than animals. They just hit people until they died. I saw no reason for it. Okay Kelly. We are safe in orbit now. We are going to swing by the human colony as they have found some interesting relics. Why are you on shift? I don't remember seeing you on the roster for today. of fights and even deaths alert security weapons on
come in Commodore Wallback. I wanted to talk to you about something. How may I help you Madam President? Please just Ginny will do. We don't really even have a government here on Pyros. I wanted to discuss the idea of going to Mars Station and placing a crew there. I would be in favor of that. I would suggest taking the Korya ship as it was one of the few survivors when we came here using the booster packs we negotiated for. Excellent Commodore. Send one space fighter with them for cover. Do you mean that you don't want my going with them? Correct. Put Lieutenant Jenkins in charge of the trip. He is an experienced fighter pilot. Send all the cadets you need to man the ships and the station. Will we be bringing the independence here? Hold off on that for now. I want to get a foothold in the new station assuming that it was replaced by Operation Camelot. Okay I will start getting a crew together. Excuse me Commodore you are wanted in ops. Something is happening. Report. What is happening? Status report. Commodore we are tracking an alien spacecraft headed this way. It is large. Is it on an attack vector? No Commodore the trajectory suggests that it may be drifting. It should enter orbit. Scramble Alpha fighter to intercept and observe. Come on Jensen. You really expect us to believe your great bravery? Well yes I was hoping that you would believe me. I think he is just telling us tales to impress us. Alpha fighter. Scramble scramble. Intercept alien spacecraft. Scramble. Sorry girls I need to go. I have a job to do. Get Lieutenant Jenkins on the radio. I need to speak with him. Lieutenant Jenkins. Intercept and observe the alien spacecraft. Offer assistance. Do not fire unless they are proven hostile. Understood sir. I am coming up on it now. Reading internal damage but nothing external. Thrusters firing to put it in orbit. It appears to be automated. What about life forms? Are there any? Two distinct life forms, probably human. There are things moving around on the ship. What kind of things? Are they animals? I cannot tell with this equipment, but I don't think they are animals. Hold position and keep it under watch. I am sending up a team. This is considered to be a rescue operation. However, you are to take guns and be ready for anything. What are our terms for using force if we need to? Try to contact them first, but respond as necessary if attacked. What is our mission objective? Are we to rescue the life forms? Yes. Good luck. This could be a dangerous mission. Use your own discretion. Hi I know.
know a place where we can hide. Come with me. We will be safe. Okay. Watch out for zombies. They are killing everyone. You must be from Earth as well. My name is Callie Roberts. April Rhodes. Yes I am from Earth as well, part of one of those exchange programs. Oh no dot here is one of the energy creatures. Help.
I will take you to safety if you will come with me. We will blow this ship up as it is a menace. Captain's Log A strange quiet has fallen over the station. At first it seemed a relief not having to chase after aliens who frequently fly through the solar system. Usually the ships are harmless. We might see Pleiadian transports ferrying supplies to New Atlantis, and occasionally there would be a sightseeing ship. We have gotten to the point where we don't chase them away unless they are doing something harmful. The prospecting ships have been especially useful for us. We might trade some lodging for some needed minerals for example, and every now and then they bring us some fresh vegetables. It seemed that we were chasing aliens almost every day. All that has ended however, at least for now. It has given us time for so many extra activities. Sally is ecstatic, training on her new medical ship. She cannot believe that these ships were built entirely using Earth technology, and I can't either. Dr. Zira is training for command on Discovery, though he seems bored. It is hard to tell with the greys. Jake and a science team are studying an odd form of plant life, once nicknamed blueberries by NASA. Others have joined him in being fascinated. Julie is hard at work, managing the station. Relaxation is a word that is re-entering our vocabulary. All seems well, but there is a gnawing worry that something is wrong, a worry that the colonists have expressed too. New Atlantis is not even hearing from the Pleiadians. Elaine is suggesting a trip to Pleiades Prime to see if all is well. The aligned worlds, more than 25 in all, have already been weakened by attacks from the plants and the Laurens, and we are silently wondering if something has happened.
Do we have to do medical exams on all the new Martians? The Martians want a checkup for everyone. They have been through a great deal. Besides, it is good training for you. Tactical status report. Results from last simulated attack scenario. Minor damage from simulated attack. All systems operational. Shall we try again? Yes we will until we are proficient. Julie I am getting a priority message from New Atlantis. They are saying that they have been hit by a meteor and have many casualties. Okay dispatch the fortune to check it out and determine medical needs. Alert Sally to get a medical team together. Missy contact the surface teams and discovery. Recall them immediately. Captain 2 spacecraft are inbound. I am getting transponder codes. One is the White Dwarf, an Earth Korea ship. The other is an Earth space fighter. They are closing on standard approach. Redirect discovery. They are closest. Tell them to greet the spacecraft and offer to take them here. Lieutenant, we are in the Sol system. I am dropping us to sublight. Very well. Commence scanning. I don't expect to see much. Standard approach to Mars station. Sir, long range scanning is showing at least four ships in a planet opposite of the Earth. Check your scanners. There should be only two ships in orbit near the station. There are two ships near the station and one headed toward the other planet, and the fourth is headed toward us. Proceed on course. Send out a greeting message. Let them know that we are not hostile. Approach the craft and open a communications channel. I am Lieutenant Jansen Jenkins from the Earth Colony Pyros. I would like to send a representative on board your ship to discuss our situation. Please accept in the spirit of friendship. I am Lieutenant Zira of the Tri-Planets Space Defense Force. You may proceed. We await your representative. You are Dr. Zira I presume. I apologize if I act surprised at seeing an alien flying an Earth ship. No apology is needed. We are ordered to escort you to Mars Station if that is your destination. Yes would would like to speak you your leader. Who is that? Our commander is Captain Matt Stone. Since we are all Earth ships I suggest we fly in formation to the station. I agree. We will follow you to the station and then I will have a conversation with the captain. So Lieutenant, how may we be of assistance? Obviously we are both surprised at each other's existence. Obviously, so I will tell you how this happened. We knew about the impending attack a few weeks before it did, so a few thousand were selected to evacuate the Earth and head to another planet. The elites were basically fleeing the Earth, right? No captain most of them were young people like yourselves, even with the same demographic makeup. 
the president and her cabinet also fled. Would it benefit us if they had stayed behind? I suppose not. How did you get there in sublight ships? There were secret arrangements with aliens. It is nothing new. They gave us booster packs to get us there. A few cadets caught fire and burned alive before we knew about the dangers of Pyros. So there is fire danger there? What causes it? Underground flammable gas and magma frequently near the surface. Jets of fire come from below. That is why the aligned worlds gave us the place. No one wanted it. What did you want with the station? Did you intend to take it over? Yes we did but that is not going to happen now. I am impressed with the Camelot upgrades. So are we although we still know little about them. Did you ask the computer? Well I guess the security program would have locked you out. Yes it did, but we are making do. Oracle on. Provide all information concerning the Project Camelot upgrades to Captain Stone. Security protocols are lifted effective immediately. Request denied. Authorization must come from an admiral or above. Computer override instructions. Authorization, Jenkins, Janssen L Code 145 Papa Tango Sierra. All information will be made available to Captain Stone and his crew. That's pretty good for a lieutenant. Do you have something to tell me? Captain Stone, I am with, or was with, Fleet Intelligence. I have posed as a fighter pilot to infiltrate the group because it is thought we have been infiltrated. I suspect Commodore Wallback. What do you suspect him of? I believe he is an enemy agent. Listen Matt, we intercepted a ship with two passengers from Earth. There were zombie-like creatures, remnants of the crew who only knew how to kill, and energy beings that apparently created them. Weapons did nothing to the energy beings, but worked against the zombies. And we have ships. I get the point. I have one ship at New Atlantis which is the new planet. It will return shortly. We can work out details of what we should do while it is away. Captain's Log We arrived at New Atlantis only to have our worst fears realized. Collapsed buildings, and survivors underneath them, were everywhere. The meteor had exploded at just the right altitude to do some serious damage. Many were dead and many injured. Sally's team would be working for some time healing the injured and rescuing people. previously used. Animals in stasis below have been released and many are dangerous. Make sure you tell your team. Thanks for the information. We will watch out for them. Our team should be here within a day with an advanced medical ship. Madam President I will have you come with me. Wallback have you gone crazy? I am not going anywhere with you. I assure you I am quite safe. Now I don't want to have to get physical with you. Guard come in. Help. Wallback has gone crazy. Arrest him.
Well Gorak how are things proceeding? Have you eliminated the human leadership? Yes. The president sent that meddling Jenkins to Earth, and I eliminated the president. I would have preferred to take her hostage, but she sicked a guard on me. How did she taste? I have never taken an Earth human. Delightful. They will make a good food supply. Tasty. How many do we have on this planet? Do you have a head count? There are about 30 of us. Not enough to overcome the humans on this miserable planet. Can't we get some troops and take this place? Not now. We are preparing the troops to take the aligned worlds over. We need all troops and ships. What is the plan? Can you let me in on it? After the zombies have reduced the enemy planets to a shambles, we will destroy the energy being so no more zombies will be made. A weakness has been found in them. I think you will also find that the Earth humans are immune. That is the weakness. They are specific to the brainwaves of the people of the aligned world. They probably find the Earth humans distasteful or even poisonous. We can use a device to broadcast poison brainwave energy into the ionosphere of the planet and they will die. What are my orders in all of this? We are going to land troops here, but only for training. I want you to get all of the Tatans on this planet together and get them in uniform. We need everyone we can get. We have a week to train before they have to get on the ship. Timing is critical. We have to land troops and appear to help at just the right time while the colonies are desperate. As always I depend on your counsel. Ensign O'Brien. We could use a little advice. You are the closest thing we have to a commanding officer right now. Where is the Commodore? Have you forgotten him? Wallback attacked a guard, who told us before he died that he also believed Wallback killed the President. She was drained of blood as if a vampire had drained her. Is this supposed to be funny? If it is I am not laughing. It is no joke. The President is dead. We found her body. Okay I will look into it. Going somewhere Commodore? You are not going anywhere. I will have you court-martialed for this. Let me go. We know what you did, killing the president. And now her cabinet is gone. Oh and your ships have been detected. They landed on the fire planes. We don't even go there. We will let you warn your people to leave so they don't get burned alive. Oh so now you are trying to trick us into leaving. No we won't go. Then you condemn your friends, whoever they are, to death. As for you, and one radar operator who let them land, you will be in a cell until we can figure out what to do with you. You don't have the ships to beat us human. They will come looking for me. I am Ensign O'Brien. I am temporarily taking command while we sort out what has happened here. I need to know the status of the enemy troops on the ground. All we know is that the enemy has landed in the fire planes. Ruikan on foot would be too dangerous. I suggest that we launch one of our fighters to go take a look. Okay I will take the responsibility. Scramble Bravo fighter. They are not to take any unnecessary chances. Just get troop and ship strength. Attention Bravo fighter. Scramble, scramble. I say again, Bravo fighter scramble.
This is Bravo Fighter. I am approaching the enemy camp now. I am estimating troop strength of about 400. There are two enemy troop transports, unarmed. Record all information and then return to base. What is that? Look up in the sky. It is one of the Earth fighters. It is looking us over. Shoot it down, immediately. Garak has not checked in so I think they got him. Shoot it down. I am taking small arms fire from the ground. Bravo fighter returned to base. Get out of there. Look at the way they retreated. These humans are not even worth our time. We will not waste resources on them. Wait. Help. What is happening?
This is the captain. As you know, we are facing a crisis on two fronts. New Atlantis has been hit by an asteroid. There are many casualties. Sally Jenna will lead a crew to help rescue and treat victims of the asteroid strike. She will captain a new medical ship that was added after the upgrade. The aligned worlds are under attack. We will not abandon them. The enemy resembles the legendary zombies, which are created by energy beings released accidentally by archaeologists. Our job is to fight the zombie plague and destroy the energy creatures. All our lives are at stake. Under different circumstances, the union of our station with the people of Pyros would be a joyous occasion. These are people from Earth, who fled before the Holocaust. They will help staff the station while all three of our ships try to stop the zombie invasion. We don't know what we will find, or how to fight it. We only know that we must prevail. Countless lives are at stake. You may find your assignments in the mission briefing room. Good luck and may God shine his light favorably on us. Are you that Lisa I keep hearing about? Yes I am. I am sad because everyone is leaving. Come now, a brave girl like you shouldn't be sad. You know that your friends will be back. Dry your eyes princess. Your friends won't be gone all that long. He called me princess. Just how much does that guy know about me anyway?